One way to enhance your website's user experience and also help your SEO is by using breadcrumb navigation. If you do use breadcrumb navigation on your website, you can mark up that breadcrumb navigation with breadcrumb schema, and the breadcrumb schema is what can help your SEO. Let's talk more about why you may or may not want to use breadcrumbs, and if you do use breadcrumb navigation, why you may or may not want to use breadcrumb schema. So do you need to use breadcrumb navigation on your website? Well, the first question that you should ask to determine if you should use breadcrumb navigation or not is how dense your hierarchy is. If you have a really dense, complex hierarchy, lots of pages on your website, and they're all nested under each other in many, many different layers of navigation, then yes, breadcrumb navigation can make a lot of sense to help show that hierarchy to everybody who's viewing your website, as well as making it easier for people to move through your website. But if you have a really simple website, like say Elementive's website, well then you probably don't need to use breadcrumb navigation because the website's so simple and there's not a lot there and it's not very complex and chances are good people don't really need that to help them move through your website. They're not going to be confused by what your website has to offer. That leads to the next question, which is do people need to move through the hierarchy of your website? The more people need to move around within your website's hierarchy, meaning they need to move from the page they're on up a level, then you should have breadcrumb navigation present. So on an e-commerce website, if somebody's looking at a product, chances are they'll want to go up a level and look at the category containing the product, or maybe up a couple levels and look at the primary category containing the subcategory that contained that product, right? So people need to move through your website's navigation, they need to move through your website's hierarchy, and a breadcrumb is a great way to facilitate that because chances are the main navigation of the website at the top of the screen, that's not going to be robust enough and rich enough listing all the pages on your website. You just can't if you have a lot of pages on your website. So breadcrumb navigation is a helpful way to let users navigate through your website. The final question that can help us determine if we need to use breadcrumb navigation or not is if we need breadcrumb navigation to help us indicate the page's topic more clearly. Let's think about an informational website as an example here. So on an informational website, somebody might arrive on an article and they're reading that article and they're trying to go through it and understand what that page is about. Having the breadcrumb navigation can help give them some additional cues about what topic this page is discussing. So if they look at the breadcrumb navigation and say, oh, okay, this informational article is contained within this higher level topic or within this category, I now know I'm on the right page. So it's another way of just giving people a little a signal that they're in the right place on your website, they're reading the right type of content. The more you need to do that, the more confusing the content might be, or the less clear it would be where people are at within the content, the more the breadcrumb navigation can help with this. So now if you've decided to use breadcrumb navigation on your website, the question becomes, should I use breadcrumb schema? And just to say this really clearly, if you do not have breadcrumb navigation shown on your website's design, you should not use breadcrumb schema. Breadcrumb schema should only be used to mark up what is visible to your users on the page. So you can see an example of a site, in this case Target, that's using breadcrumb navigation and how this affects their search results. What's shown next to Target.com is the breadcrumb navigation on their website. So in this first example, the breadcrumb navigation is men, men's clothing, shirts. That is not the URL on the page. Instead, Target is using breadcrumb schema to mark this up and replace the URL to show their breadcrumb navigation instead. This can be a great way to get some additional words and topics onto the search result page. Also, if you have ugly URLs, this is a great way to mask those and prevent those ugly URLs from showing up in search results. If you don't use breadcrumb schema, then your regular URLs will be shown. In this case, you can see that on Elementive's website, where we have Elementive.com research or Elementive.com about Elementive. Those are our actual URLs. And you can see that Google is marking up those actual URLs as if they're breadcrumb schema. So it's shown in a very similar way. They're trying to represent the site's hierarchy. If your URLs already show your website's hierarchy pretty well, or the URLs are pretty keyword rich already, then you probably don't need to use breadcrumb schema on your website. But if you have chosen to use breadcrumb schema on your website, let's wrap up by talking about how you implement breadcrumb schema. Well, let's take an example of breadcrumb schema in JSON-LD. 
this is what the JSON LD version of schema looks like. And you can mark up your breadcrumb navigation in other formats. So if you'd rather use microdata for this, that's great too. So within this JSON LD example, you can see that we have three items listed. We have a home page listed, a widgets page listed, and a blue widget listed. The home page is the top of our hierarchy. That's where everything begins. And then we work down from there. So then the next level in our hierarchy is this widgets page. And we have underneath that a product of blue widget. That's the bottom of our hierarchy within this breadcrumb navigation. If we look at one particular item within this breadcrumb schema, we can see the different attributes added about that item. So first we define the type, that this is a list item. We then say what position this is within the hierarchy, in this case, position one. We then give the name of the page, in this case, widgets, and the URL of the page is listed within item. Now, big thing to note is that the hierarchy starts at zero and it doesn't start at one. The other big thing to note is that you want to keep schema and content versions of your breadcrumb equivalent. You don't want to end up in a situation where humans looking at the visual design of your page see the breadcrumb as one thing and bots looking at the schema breadcrumb markup see something different. If you have a discrepancy between those two, especially a really big discrepancy, you can get yourself in some trouble for using schema in a manipulative way. Whether you should use breadcrumb navigation on your website or not has a lot to do with how people need to use your website. If by using breadcrumb navigation, you'll make your website better for people to use and interact with, and they'll have a better time engaging with your website, then use breadcrumb navigation. The same is true of breadcrumb schema. If by using breadcrumb schema markup on your breadcrumb navigation, you can make your search result listings more interesting and more something that people want to click on, then great, use breadcrumb schema markup. If, however, breadcrumb schema markup won't really change your search result listings in any way that will help clicks, then don't worry about using breadcrumb schema markup. If you have any questions about using breadcrumb schema, other types of schema, or just other questions about your website's SEO, please let me know. You can email me at matthew at elementive.com. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe for more videos from Elementive. Thank you for watching.